Hi folks, my name is Dan and I'm from Cultivate 3D and today I'm going to take you through the processes uh, to upload your firmware to your Beast 3D printer. Now firmware is effectively the operating system of your 3D printer. It enables your printer to print, it, it allows you to control your printer either via the LCD controller or via computer. Without firmware you cannot use your printer. Now uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do is hop on to cultivate3d.com and follow the links as shown through to our downloads section. Now it, you'll be taken to the, our OneDrive account. I want you to click on the Beast Firmware folder and download the file as shown. Once that file has downloaded, you need to open up the file as it's a compressed zip file and extract the contents of that file to a location on your hard disk drive and in this case we're using our downloads folder slash the beast firmware one two. Having extracted the contents of that file we can now close these two windows and we need to open up Repet uh, Arduino I should say. Now Arduino is essentially a piece of software which enables us to communicate with the electronics on our 3D printer. First things first you're going to need to go to the tools menu, board and, uh, uh, and select the Arduino Mega 2560 as the type of board that we are using. Following that tools menu again and select the COM port that displays your Arduino Mega 2560. Now I am of course assuming that you have connected your 3D printer to your computer via USB by this, this point in time. And if you have you should find that uh, your Arduino Mega 2560 should show next to one of the COM ports. It may not be COM port 4, it may be COM port 3, COM port 5, COM port 8, you don't know. Um, that's set by the computer, but as long as you're selecting the COM port that corresponds to your Arduino Mega 2560 as shown here. Next step, we need to open up the, the firmware uh, configuration file and to do that we hit the open um, option and we navigate to downloads, the Beast firmware where we extracted the firmware file, go all the way into the Repetier folder and then scroll down until you can find the Repetier.ino file. Having opened this file, you will notice that it opens a whole bunch of other files alongside of it. The most important of which is this configuration.h file. For the purpose of this tutorial, you don't need to modify anything um, at all, but just to point out that all of the settings, the custom settings that we have, have already pre-programmed into this firmware file are within this configuration.h file, at least most of them anyway. Going back to the Repetier main file, if you like, we're going to choose the upload option. And what this will do is it will first of all compile the, uh, the, the firmware, basically reduce all this human readable code into something that the electronics can, can actually read and understand. And following that, it's going to upload that compiled file to the electronics. Now if it fails at any point in time during this process I might draw your attention to the version of Arduino that we are using which is Arduino 1.6.4. There are other versions which may work but we can certainly assure you that version 1.6.4 will work perfectly. Some users have re reported that uh, with later versions of Arduino that their firmware does not compile correctly or upload. Now once that's complete you should find that your printer will reset itself, it will turn itself back on, the LCD panel will light up and it will show a Beast logo followed by the standard Repetier interface on the LCD panel and that effectively enables you to control your 3D printer via that LCD panel. So that concludes this tutorial. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section or send us an email at admin at cultivate3d.com. Thank you.